All right, sleep space, let's check it out. Dive right into this. So the premise of this game is that we're dreaming and that we're trying to fight our nightmares. And there's levels, and this is the first level, and between, at the start of each level, you get to choose a uh, ability. You can have more card drops, more range on your free move cards. You can draw another card each turn. I like a uh, plus one energy each turn. I think that's really good. We're gonna take that one, although the free move one's pretty good. Um, so before I explain the cards and all, all this, first let's just explain the goal of the game is to like, you know, beat the nightmare. And the way you do that is you need to make more of these tiles on the, on the grid here, your color, um, then compared to them. Basically, there is a target in the middle here, and I need to get 22 more tiles to get to the middle. They need 20 more tiles to get to the middle because they start off with, they got three here. And it's it's a race to see who fills this up first. And so once I've run around a bunch and got 23 tiles total filled up here uh, in this particular level, you know, I win that level. And the boss here and his little minions are trying to stop me through their various actions. The minions act in different ways. Um, these ones are the wanderer type, you can tell by the thing on the face there. They just randomly wander across the board, moving two tiles at a time. This over here is a seeker. It's not going to uh, move around at random. It's going to come straight for me as, as, be as best as it can. You see these little card packs right here? Uh, these are card packs. There's, you, you have little things here that are card packs. You walk onto them, you pick them up, and you can add newer, sometimes better cards to your deck here. This thing or here's your deck to draw from, so you can get some, you can get some really strong cards you don't have at the start. And this up here is your turn order. This right here, the blue one, is us, the player. And these are like this is Wanderer B, this is Seeker A, this is Wanderer A, and that's the boss over here. You can find out a lot of things are by hovering over them. Hover over that. It's the you know shows that hover over the boss and explain this is the boss. Grace never come to life, and you know hovering is over things useful. Every turn, let's look at our cards now. This is also like a you know, menu button, I guess. Um, every turn you get a certain amount of energy right here. I had, uh, normally it's three, but I started off one, with one bonus energy, so I get four. And this is the energy cost, little battery thing in the top left of the little things there. Um, you'll notice everything's kind of like sleep themed with pillows and whatnot, because you know, it's a nightmare we're dreaming. This is our discard pile over here. Um, once you go through everything, it just kind of like filters back over. Every turn you get a free move. And it starts off with a range of one. Now, uh, in between levels, you can get an upgrade that'll make it like range two or whatever. So if you want to, like, you know, have more free move every turn, it's useful, good mobility. And sometimes you get a move card, um, a pillow, whatever, that lets you move, you know, range three even farther. So this one would move me one tile. I can right click it to cancel it. If I uh, then over here, move here, I can move three and gain more tiles and also try to avoid them. And I have abilities, like this one costs two, it has a range of two, and I can flip a group of four tiles and get some good things done there. And I've got a pill for here to flip three tiles around me, it's just all kinds of options. I'm going to first off just pick up this uh, card pack right here and choose which one I want. I can get a short pillow to flip a row of three tiles around your character. I find that not crazy useful, because you just tend to walk around that area anyways. So having another move tile, I think it's going to be pretty good. You want to have like a right ratio of movement to like abilities. So we just added that to our deck over there. Also, when energy's gone, you click end turn, and they take your turns, but I haven't used that energy yet. I just used that one free card. No, I probably want to stay away from you. Also, the way you uh, you can kill these, uh, you can't kill the main boss, main boss, but uh, maybe if you beat the whole game, I haven't gone that far yet, only played for maybe like 20 minutes. Uh, you can beat these guys. If you surround them in dream tiles, they die and turn into a card pack, so it's actually good to take them out if you can. Um, so, if I move over here, these... Uh, you know, they can't reach me from there, and I can go ahead and, oh, put a maybe a pillow bomb right there. Although if they both go this way, they'll just undo it. They, it can flip back and forth, by the way. Do all that, use all my energy, and then we end our turn. And they're just going to move randomly around. This one's trying to seek me. Hmm, the seeking AI may need, may need a bit of work. It's... All, it it would have been better for it to try to like, thread its way through here, but maybe it decided which way to go based on where this guy was blocking their path, maybe? I don't know. All right, so the boss, um, the first turn didn't do anything, but after that, it's going to start doing uh, actions. And it's going to, um, it, it, it's this like a more of a threat than these little minions are, and it gets stronger as it goes on. The first thing he's doing here, in this case, is the Meteor Crush, is the spell he's going to do. If you hover over these highlighted things, you can usually figure out what the boss is going to do. So what he's going to do is he's just going to flip these tiles. You can stand on the Nightmare tiles when they get flipped or whatever. It's not going to take you out or anything. That's fine. But I want to see if I can take these guys out. So how would I do that? I can use the move 
to get myself here, maybe? And, no, I want to get that card, so maybe I use the free move to go here. And then I use move to go around this way. And uh, we pick up that card pack. Uh, teleport is actually really good for getting yourself out of danger, so we'll grab the teleport. Teleport to any tile, cost two, confirm. I will take that. We're here. I'm not sure if these guys kill you if they randomly touch into you, I don't, or if they just spread this stuff. I don't know. Uh, I'd rather not find out. Uh, we can do a pillow fort to take that one out. Or I can do a short pillow to accomplish the same thing. So we'll do that. Take that out, clear some of that, and I just hope this guy doesn't choose to run into me and kill me. I haven't actually had them run into me yet. The pillow fort's not actually going to hit anything, so it's a waste. So, um, I mean, might as well use it. just gets discarded anyways. We end turn and hope that this thing doesn't run into me. Okay, good. I assume that this one can run into you and hit you because it's, it's it wants to hunt and capture you. I'm not sure if the Wanderer can run into you and kill you or not. So okay, now the boss can use Dream Seeker on its next turn, which is uh, this tile will be flipped to Nightmare next turn and follows your character. So basically, what that means is uh, wherever I move on the board, these tiles around me are going to get changed regardless. So there's no point trying to flip uh, tiles around me. So it can be useful to like move away from stuff you converted. Um, or you can use it as an opportunity to try and take these guys out of the can, but I think it's going to be hard. Mm, pillows, teleport. I could just use it as a chance to pick up cards. I could t grab this one, right? The, at the very least. Another teleport or a pillow fort. Uh, let's get a teleport. It's just mobility is very strong. And do I, I could teleport to that, but that guy might take me out. I can use a short pillow to, you know, get a couple ties. Ooh, I didn't even realize I had that one blocked off there. When did I grab that? I don't remember. So we got that good. That's good. And I can use another short pillow this direction to get these. Now these ones around me are all going to get converted back. I could teleport, but anywhere I teleport to is also going to get, I can do, it's going to do more harm than good. So I'm just going to, hmm, do I teleport somewhere where he gets less? Like right here? Right now he's going to get four. My move here, he'll get, um, uh, three, four. Eh, it's not, it doesn't make a difference. Gets me farther away from you, though. And we wait for you to take your turn. Chaotic Rain. So, the, you'll find that most of the spells and abilities are just him flipping random tiles based on different patterns. This one, just like random tiles around here get flipped. So, it, most most of his stuff flips tiles. That's the general thing that most of them do is flip tiles. Alright, um, I need to take you out. I could use a free move to go here. And then a uh, regular move to go here. And then you're gone. I can't pick these up yet, but at least you're no longer on the board. And I can maybe clean up some of those over there and a little bit of this right here. And I got a lot of these. I need to pick these up. This is why it's good to have a lot of uh, move cards, because you need to be able to pick up all these card packs around the ground. I'll use my free move to grab this one. Hmm. We definitely need more move. Long pillows, good. The board does change in between levels. It won't just always be this hexagon looking thing. I'll, I'll get the move. Movement is good and cheap. And then I will I get both of these. No, I'm going to have to teleport. I'll teleport to you. And pillow fort three around us. Short pillow three in a range. I go for the short pillow, I guess. And I will then move myself this way. Uh, teleport or move. They're both good. I'll go for teleport. We've got plenty of energy. I'm getting. Probably have too many movement cards. You can also choose to not take any. I'll do a pillow fort. Oh, you're doing Dream Seeker, I see. So this isn't going to do us a lot of good here. You're just going to undo it, but might as well use the cards if you have the energy to do it, right? Just because you can? Alright, so now you're doing Chaotic Rain. I can do... I need five more, so I'll do a short pill that direction. Now move over here, and that should be enough. Dream Lair clear. That's level one done. Now you get to pick another Sleep Aid. And honestly, another energy tempting, more card options per drop, draw more card, more free range. Ah, just go for more energy, right? More energy is good. All right, what do we have now? We have uh, the Wanderer again, we have the Seeker again, and now we have the Spreader. What the Spreader does is the Spreader just stands still and doesn't move, and it just it's able to like spread the nightmare from connected tiles outwards. So like first it's here. Then it'll, the next turn it'll spread there, and then it'll spread it farther and farther out. If you go in, and, if it's like spread the nightmare out that much, and if you like go in here and convert a couple tiles next to it, then this next turn will only take up like the tiles there. So it's you, you don't want to let the thing go crazy because like it's, it gets exponentially more powerful the more you like leave it alone to spread. So you want to take it out quick. 
in, so we're gonna try and like as much as I want to get these cards right away, that that thing's gotta go. I can teleport to those later. I'm going to move over here, and I don't want to go into any any of these tiles here. I die from this thing. I assume when it touches. So I'm just gonna go over here, and I will I guess do a free move onto this card because we're right here. Hmm, big pillow bomb. That's a really strong one. Flip a group of seven tiles. That's why I like the energy because some of the best ones are very expensive. Flip a row of six tiles. I'm going for the big pillow bomb. We'll take that, add it to our deck. I'll do a short pillow. Oh, I, I mean, right there is fine. Get a little, few extra tiles there. The numbers do change between based on the size of the board. If you look over here, bigger numbers. And turn. See how he's spread. Next turn, he'll spread even more. Ooh, they're in a good position to get uh, taken out. Sleep paralysis. Okay. This is a new one we haven't seen yet, or you haven't seen yet. What this does is um, basically, if I stay standing on any of these six tiles, what this is why movement's important. What the boss will do is they'll hit me with sleep paralysis. The next turn, I won't be able to, um, uh, I won't be able to play move cards. I can play other cards, but uh, anything that has movement, like you know the move or the free move, I'll be like standing still. But I can st you can still use like short pill. I'm not sure if you can use teleport now, but generally speaking, I don't want to be in these tiles, so I'm. I mean, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna do the other things first, then I can just teleport my way out of it. Can I do anything clever to take you out? I could move like so, and and you're gone. That's actually really good. And you're gone out of here. And hmm, I can do a free move here and the short pill there and get review because you you gotta go. You're a, you're a genuine problem. Get out of here. That's good. And I mean, I'll just teleport onto this because I want it. Flash pillow is a really good one because you can, like, I could, you could cancel it. if they're doing a really nasty one. You happen to draw this, you could just play it, and it cancels out their action, which is really nice, especially with lots of energy. Still, to still be able to do other stuff. Yeah, definitely get flash pillow. Take that. It's a very nice one. And we enter and surround cards. And now we've gotten two of the nasty ones out pretty early. It's quite good. Inversion. So inversion, uh, all that does is just it flips them. Which can sometimes, depending on where it happens, can sometimes actually be useful. Like this one right here that's neutral. Um, if that, you know, or that, it'll just stay neutral. But if, let's say I had two blues and there were like three nightmare ones. The nightmare, your dreams rather. Blue, dream, red, nightmare. Um, let's say three of these were nightmares and they invert them. Well, the nightmares will become uh, dreams, which would be good. And I want to, I'm going to take this card pack here. Another flash pillow. I'm definitely taking that. It's one of the best ones, I think. And I can teleport. I'm just going to teleport over to this card pack. And we want big pillow bomb, flip group of four tiles, teleport. Uh, the, the teleports are really, really useful, as you can see for getting these things. And I got three energy, so I'm going to use the big pillow bomb right there and get some pretty good value there. And we will enter. And we're doing really well here on the second level, but it's only, it's only the second level, so, you know, what do you expect, right? Flip those. Okay, and so all the neutral ones stayed neutral. Mm, I can teleport again. Chaotic Rain 2. See how it says Chaotic Rain 2? Because Chaotic Rain 1, it, they get stronger, so now he's going to flip more tiles. The boss gets stronger and stronger, but, you know, so are you, so it makes sense, right? If I wanted to, I can use Flash Pillow, and I, in fact, I think I will, to interrupt them, so they, they're not going to use their Chaotic Rain anymore, so no crazy tile flipping going on. Mm, I will do the free move. If I do it here, I can use Short Pillow over there. Or, yeah, we'll do free move here. Um... Bill Forts. Oh, don't think it makes a lot. Don't think it makes much difference here. We'll do that, and then you're not really gonna reach much, but that's fine. Still not a terrible turn for us. Inversion on those again, huh? All right. Um. Well, first let's just. Mm, flash pillow. Do I want to use that? I mean, like, or I could do two teleports. I mean, I just that's five that stay on my side, right? And I'll teleport down to this. Card down here. Short pill, flip three in front of us. Pill fort. I find pill fort usually not be that great for the most part. Sometimes, okay. Short pillow. They're both all right. I'm actually just going to skip them. And I don't have the energy to teleport, so I'll just do a free move over this way. I'll enter. And this wanderer has been doing very little. <laughs> all right, now the, the boss can summon, by the way. They can summon new things. And um, blocked if your character standing. So if I stand on top of that, I can make sure they don't summon. Or you can color all the, all the tiles around it, dream tiles, and it'll instantly die. It could be a card pack, whichever is going to work out better for you. Um, I can't actually move to it. I don't mind taking you out. 
And I can do a free move here. Hmm. If I do a move, free move here, and I move all around you, and then do a pill fork, that should get the job done to stop both of you. Move around like this. If I stand on it, you won't get summoned. This is our hero trying to get a good night's sleep. And, oh, I missed a tile down there, unfortunately. Hope this guy doesn't run into me. I don't, I'm not sure if this guy can run into me or kill me or not. I guess we might be about to find out, right? And we end turn here and the summon won't work. Okay, they ran away. And no summon for you. I blocked it. Now you're doing chaotic rain. Ooh, I didn't get the thing to cancel the chaotic rain, which is a bummer. I think I'll end with a teleport onto that card pack that's there, but hard to see since rocks are in the way. And, um, I would like to take you out. Am I going to be able to? I could teleport here. And then I could, um, free move here. I don't think I can take you out this turn, so instead I'm just going to focus on converting tiles. Grab this. Pot of pillows. I haven't seen this yet. Uh, draw two cards from your deck. Mm, this will get more and more energy. That becomes more useful. I've got plenty of teleports. I'll take that. That could be useful, especially when you get more energy next turn. I will short pillow, I think, this way. Get some value there. I need eight more to win. And I will teleport... I think here, free move here just in case, I don't want you to run into me and touch me, but I'm not sure the Wanderer does run into you and touch you, doesn't seem like it. Need 13 more inversion over there. Alright, flash pillow, I will just, you might as well use it, because you can't keep it for your next hand, it just goes there either way. Use or don't use it. I will use, I guess I could use that first, but whatever. Use this, ah, uh, not well. And we will do a little bit of movement. I move like this, I just can't seem to take you out. If I do the free move first here, move around. Nah, but it's just you're just staying alive forever there, you little little noodle. I might just leave them alone. Just focus on converting pillow bomb. I need more of these pillow bomb things, really. Get some. Uh, where be a good spot to use this? I don't know. Just pillow bomb there. I can uh, teleport here. Free move here move here, get you finally gone, get you stop undoing all my work I'm doing over here. Mark, I gotta deal with this guy's nonsense on top of it, right? I think I've gotten too many movement cards. Uh, that'd be pretty good. Um, I'll take the free move to grab this. Big bomb pillow, yes please. Very nice thing to have. And, oh, you're gonna summon something over there. If I do a big bomb pillow right here, that way it'll be insta-killed, right? And I'll use a short pillow to take that out. Can I reach anything with this? A little bit, there we go. And turn. What are you gonna summon there? It doesn't matter, it's instantly dead. I need to get five more. I will teleport here to grab that, could be useful. Long pillow. Maybe that might be alright, I'll take that long pillow. And I will flip a group of four tiles. Can I get this a couple over there? Teleport over. I don't have enough, fine, we'll free move here, I guess. And, wait, no, I can't, wait, why can't he use it? Oh, I was mistaken two for, I was looking the long, looking the wrong spot. It's taking a little bit longer to beat this second level, I was hoping. That's fine, though. We will, uh, free move here. It's almost better just to ignore this, because he likes to do that bed one a lot that takes him all the tiles around there. We'll teleport over. I can turn off the inversion if need be. Might be a, not a terrible idea. Stop. And we'll go over, I guess, here. And, and turn. Yeah, I definitely need more uh, tile flippers for sure. We'll move like so. You're back to that inversion, huh? And I will remove here. Do a short pillow there. And job done. All right, that's the end of the second level. I think we'll do one more for this video. Hmm. More energy, more card option per drop. More energy. Some of them are pretty expensive. Alright. we got here? Hmm. Wait, you didn't summon any... Interesting. Last time I got to the third area, you did summon units. This time you didn't. Strange. You have no turn, so I don't need the flash pillow. Unless your turn is summoning stuff. Um, I mean, we might as well. Not that you have anything, but I've got the energy. Teleport. Any cards to teleport to? Yes. I will teleport over to this one. I am noticing the boss tends to block. Ooh, another flash pillow. I mean, that's always worth getting. That's always worth getting. I'm noticing it's sometimes he blocks a bit of the board. 
And we'll free move, I think, here. Short pillow this, I guess. And end turn. Bet slam. I mean, I can just... Might as well stop that every time, right? And I will teleport over to this. Another teleport? I'll take that. It's fine. Anything to stop you from taking actions is fine by me. We'll do a move here and then a nice little move over there and start working on this board. You want to, oh, but the flash. Oh, but what if you were never able to take a turn? But what if you could never have a turn? I'm going to teleport down and grab this one. Another flash pillow. Yes. You can't do much if you don't get to take turns. I have the energy for that, so I'll just free move over here. Get tile, end turn. But yeah, having the energy is pretty good. Oh, Dream Seeker's a nasty one. I don't have my flash, I don't have my thing either. Um, if I do a big pillow bomb over there and then run away down here, I get somebody out of this, like do that there, and then run away from it so that way it'll actually stay, because that Dream Seeker falls me around. It's level three too, so it's a nasty one, so. Do like a little bit of movement. Over here, try to get this card pad and get you away from my things I changed over there. Short pillow, another teleport, sure. I feel like I'm not building my deck very well, but whatever. But yeah, level 3 gets real strong. Uh, the summon. Let's take them off those all to turn over. And wait for it. Okay, they're done. So, that's summon. I could teleport and drop a big pillow bomb to stop that from happening. Or, actually, I could just use my teleport to stand on it. It just won't happen, but... I mean, it drops cards if I surround it, right? Um, I think we teleport here. Big pillow bomb. Yeah, I did that wrong, actually. Can I undo? No. All right, well, I guess we'll stand here. Unless I pillow fort and then walk away. That works, too. Yeah, yeah. I just want the card. It's good. Drop might be something useful, right? Haha, <laughs> thanks for the card, chump. Meteor Crush is going to hit over there. All right, First, let's use the pot of pillows to see what we have. Oh, that's good. That's a good flash pillar right there. Use the free move to pick that up. Another flash pillow. Oh, you just have fun never getting any turns there, huh? Have fun never getting to take any turns there, boss. Pillow fort not useful right now. Hmm, I could. I uh, can't. I can only do one or the other. I'll use this. Is gonna be the, that gives me the best value I think right there. And then we end turn. Still have like a need for more energy. Energy is just like one of the best ones, I think. Let's see. I guess you could just get free move every time and like just have tons of free tile space. Oh, you're gonna summon again. None of my watch. <laughs> That's so good. It's so good having so many of those. Um, I could free move uh, here. Do a short pillow that way. And a pill bomb to get that one there. And end turn. Hmm. I'm not sure why level three started with no minions. Making it easy on us. Dream. Oh, flash pillow. Oh, I love you. Yep. No, no, no nasty dream seeker for us. I can teleport. I kind of want to leave that there. That way, if he's doing a dream seeker on me, I can just teleport there and have it hit there. If I don't have a flash pillow. But for now, I teleport, I think, here. And free move here. And we end turn. Slowly, little by little, we get this job done. You're going to summon over there. I don't love that for me. Um. Hmm, I think we use the pot of pillows to see what we have. And I think we get over there to stop that. I'm going to teleport right here. And I'm going to move. If I move... Hmm, how do I do this? Do I free move first? Or I, I guess we'll just move like this. And then do a free move here. And a short pillow... Just to make sure. I'm not sure if it has to be covered on it or not. Just want to make sure. I'm not, I'm not sure I needed to flip that, but I'm not taking any chances. Nope. No summon for you, my friend. Not this day. Inversion 2, so you're going to invert those. I can't stop it. Oh, alas. Oh well. And we will free move here. Get this. Uh, pot of Pillows is probably a pretty good choice. I'll take that. Alright. Got so many uh, cards over there. 11 there, 11 there, 22 total. And I could teleport somewhere. Um, hmm. A short pillow, get one of these. Just teleport over here, and then teleport over here to start getting a bit more little by little. I'm just gonna cancel that, that's a nasty one. Oh, not the bed slam, I need to, uh, I can't cancel, oh, the bed slam. 
unlucky move, pillfort, teleport. Not the best here. I say we pillfort. No, we we teleport. Um, teleport here. Free move here. Pillfort here. Then move down here. And turn. He's, he's kind of flipping them faster than I'm flipping them. I really need to. I need. I'm not getting my cancels. Chaotic rain. All right. Not too many are hitting down up here. Maybe we teleport and then do a big pill bomb. Actually, I can just probably like. What's the range on it? Yeah, we could just do a free move here and do a big pill bomb right there for some pretty good value. We like that. And then we can uh, teleport right here. Do a pill fort right there. We're getting there. It's good value. End turn. Although this boss is quite the flipper. I wonder if it's only three levels or how long does this go for? Once I beat this, I'll end the video either way. Um, Dream Seeker 3. I don't think so. Luckily, we have the flash pill to stop that nonsense. And, oh, do I just use this to draw more or just use the big pill bomb? The big pill bomb is pretty good. Um, hmm, I'm not sure it's going to give us a ton of value. If I move here, I can use it to get, like, two. If I move there, I can get maybe a few. I guess I'll go here and use the big pill bomb and get a few there. It's not terrible. Although, if they do the bed bomb thing again, that gets undone. Flash pillow to stop the meteor crush. Good value. And pot of pillows for more cards. Hmm. Okay, so if I work down here, I can use a... Yeah, yeah, we can get some stuff down there, right? So we move ourselves to here. And I guess I'll move here and short pill. Not a ton of value, but all adds up. Only six more. This is a tough one. Alright, you're going to do a meteor crush. I think not. Flash pillow value. Hmm, I need to teleport and get this up here, I think. Teleport. If I teleport... Oh, uh, where can get some good... Maybe like here? Get some pillow bomb value? I don't have enough. And I'll move here. And we'll enter. Not enough energy or mana or whatever. Bed slam. That's why it's... That wasn't that useful. Uh, I can't cancel you either. Once I draw... Yes, flash pillow. No more of that nonsense. I will do... I think we got it right here. Free move. And then we move... And there we go, job done. Now there's another level. Hey, okay, I, was, I felt like that was the final level since it was mostly just him doing insane stuff. But yeah, we beat the game. There it is. You'll love to see it. Smash that like button. If you like indie games and you want to see more of them on this channel, let's go.